just had lunch at the Kentucky Headhunters Club. Uh, I'll zoom in on the sign here. Slaw I, I had two slaw burgers, an order of fries, and I had three cans of ski. All right, so I'm leaving my driveway right now. Um, I'm not going to be uploading the response to my Bible study video from yesterday. Um, uh, we've got, there's a revival tonight. I'll show you how far this church is from my house. You just seen me, I just backed out of my driveway. Uh, but there's a revival that I'm going to tonight and uh, I'm not gonna have uh, the time to video myself for that response uh, to the, what does the, does my version really matter? Uh, uh, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, I'll be, I won't go to the revival tomorrow night. Um, it's not our church's revival. It's a local church where I live and, uh, we'll be, we'll be there tonight for, the, uh, to support their revival. And then tomorrow I will upload the response to does my version really matter? And, uh, I was going to do it today, but I had I, I had to leave work early today. Had some things I needed to take care of, and uh, I just didn't get them done in time. And with me going to this revival tonight, I won't get home tonight till nine, ten o'clock, somewhere in there. Uh, but like I said, I'll upload the uh, response tomorrow. Does my version really matter? And uh, hopefully, I can answer some questions for some of you all. Uh, I've had some people message me and asking me about it. Uh, also, I want to give a thank you to everyone that said happy birthday to me uh, today, the 17th of October. Uh, it is my birthday. I turned 26 today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still a little sick. You can probably tell that by, by hearing me. Uh, but, like I said, I'll be uploading the response video tomorrow. Uh, does my version really matter? Uh, as I've said before, I think it does matter what version of the Bible we use. Um, so I'll, I'll upload that tomorrow again. Thank you for all the birthday wishes uh, I'm pulling into the church parking lot right now uh, So we will I'll video a little bit of the service tonight and uh, we'll catch y'all here in just a second So I just got back from Revival uh, Had a really great service uh, brother Robert Knight. He's a <laughs> uh, Brother Robert Knight is from the city that I go to church in now and he pastors a church here in the town that I live in. So on Sundays, we almost pass each other uh, going to church. Uh, but Brother Robert Knight uh, is preaching the revival at their church right down the road uh, this week. And a really great service tonight. Had some great singing. Uh, I'm going to insert some clips of the singing and preaching at the end. Uh, I recorded all of the songs. Uh, so if you don't want to listen to the whole song, you can just kind of skip through and uh, listen to what was uh, recorded and uh, brother Robert Knight will be at the end he's the one preaching uh, but uh, like I said tomorrow tomorrow the day after today the day that's after my birthday uh, uh, I will post the the response to the Bible study question from yesterday and uh, in that does the version of the Bible that we use really matter uh, does it really matter if we use a King James or an ESV or an RSV or whatever version may have you, uh, does it really matter? Uh, and I'll post my response to that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you'll find it uh, uh, thought provoking and uh, hopefully I can give you some information maybe you've never heard of. Uh, maybe I can give you some truth uh, that you've heard talked about or preached on but never really knew why some of the things mattered. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, to open your eyes to some things on the, the matter of, uh, of what Bible we should use. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, like I said, most of it's going to be after this. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Um, I'm growing every day and I appreciate all of you that watch it. Uh, you could spend, you've got 24 hours in a day and uh, I like you choose to do things with my time. And I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time watching the videos that I make. And uh, hopefully I, I'm entertaining. Uh, and uh, hopefully you get something out of the videos. Uh, but again, if you've not already subscribed, please do so. And I hope you enjoy these clips from the service tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow. You've got to
St. Mark chapter 5. I'm going to read some very, very good scripture you're hearing tonight. And as we had heard the, the devotions and, and uh, testimonies last night uh, that was given, and we, it really uplifted us, gave us a lot of joy in our heart. And it got us thinking a little bit. You know, I thank the Lord for a testimony. It's just as powerful as any message that any minister I will ever share if it's sent from God. And I praise Him for the testimonies I've shared last night. Chapter 5, St. Mark chapter 5, begin reading in verse 21. St. Mark chapter 5, we're going to begin reading in verse 21. If you're there, say amen. 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 And when Jesus was passed over again by the ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him as he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come, lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard Jesus was come in the, and pressed behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch, if I can touch, if I may touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed from that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng of thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing that was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. And that's all we care to read tonight. Let's again go, Lord, and prayer. Father, God, again, Lord, we to God. It'd be worth every night of it. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, hundred or fifty uh, uh, souls saved. We want to see the church uh, uh, change in a dramatic way, uh, Brother Bill. Uh, but oftentimes, if it just does one thing, uh, uh, to cause you to begin to read your Bible, uh, where you was to read your Bible, a uh, hundred Bible is worth it. Amen. Right. Most of us want to see something uh, dramatic take place. Uh, but listen, oftentimes we fail to acknowledge. Uh, uh, listen, I know we say this, uh, and I've said it too. Uh, uh, the preacher preached too long, too much singing. Uh, uh, the room's too cold, it's too hot. Uh, listen, we're just miserable uh, uh, because we're not really happy uh, in what God is doing in our life. We see what we have to sacrifice. Just for revival. Now, revival will not come to you. Listen, my friend, as long as the attitude uh, is that it's costing me too much. Uh, listen, I see this as uh, as uh, the Gadari and Jared seen Jesus uh, and they saw this man him healed. Uh, they did not rejoice over this brother Terry, uh, but they were mourning for the loss of the ox. Right. Amen. Amen. They would ask him to leave. That's what he said. They asked him to leave. Mark said they asked him to leave. And when they came to the other side, there was as much people gathered there again. Now, I'm going to say this. Ain't it amazing how you can go from one place to the next uh, and people will receive you? Uh, or where on the other hand, brother uh, uh, Jared, they will not. Amen. Uh, it's amazing to me how some people uh, have a desire for revival or others uh, uh, do not have one at all. Uh, but nevertheless, as he come on there uh, uh, to this coast here, he began to see uh, uh, this group of people begin to come about him. Uh, and the fame and glory went out uh, 